Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. I think Sansa is really excited to see her sister. Ever since, you know, the family split up and, and Ned got beheaded, it's been all about survival and being able to see her family again. The first scene that Arya and Sansa have together is in front of the statue of their dead father, which is pretty sad, but just so powerful. And to have Sophie around on set again has just been the best. Arya. Bran's home too. I've watched these characters on screen for sort of five or six seasons and thought, oh wow, that's interesting, they're dynamic, they're this or whatever. And now I'm getting to act with them at last. But Bran is not Bran anymore and it's a very, very interesting place to be. I saw you at the crossroads. You saw me? Bran has visions. It's weird because the last time I was working with Isaac was like the pilot. So then to have him back and working with him in a completely different way where he's very kind of like aloof, it's kind of unnerving for me because I'm like, that's not Isaac and that's not Bran, that's not the Bran that I know, so it actually feeds into it pretty well. I thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Why would you go back there? Cersei's on her list of names. Growing up, Arya always felt like the misfit. She was always tough, but now she's actually deadly. And it was important for Sansa to learn that as well. Just as this great moment as the Starks are reuniting and everything should be happy and sentimental and nostalgic, but it, it's not going to be because that would be too easy. Every one of the Starks that has, you know, been through the Game of Thrones washing machine has turned out differently. They've so adapted to their completely different situations that they are such different people now that they can't even completely trust each other. So that's an interesting dynamic.